What's going on guys? T-Mart here and today I'm very excited for you guys some Battlefield 1 multiplayer gameplay. Yes, that's right guys. This is the first multiplayer gameplay the world has ever seen. It just took place live on the Battlefield Squad's live stream and I wanted to record it for you guys so you guys could check it out. I know not all of you guys are able to watch it live and I know a lot of people will be very, very interested in this. Obviously this year is a crazy year with Call of Duty and with Battlefield. Every year it's kind of a battle but uh, this year Call of Duty went to the future. Battlefield went back to World War One, and uh, that's kind of attracting a lot of eyes and uh, honestly it looks really really good as you guys can see from this gameplay keep in mind this is recorded off of a live stream so it's not going to be the best quality the game is going to look better than this when you actually play it but uh, it just kind of gives you an idea of what you could expect like you, you can see we're fighting in like the countryside here a little kind of like small farming village and it's just like it looks amazing. The maps are obviously very, very expansive as, you know, staying true to Battlefield style. And uh, a lot of what you'll see really, you know, I mean, it's a Battlefield game. You know, it's the same old Battlefield people know and love. But uh, they were talking on the stream about a lot of the different things that they've done to change it up and improve it and all the polishes they've made and stuff like that. I mean, everything from the weapons to the vehicles to even, like, movement systems have been changed. And no, we're not talking about, you know, wall running or anything like that. We have straight boots on the ground here movement systems like they have a new mantling feature they have a new feature where you can run through a door so you can like charge through it and take enemies by surprise rather than opening the door and letting them know you're there um, in terms of vehicles there are all types of new vehicles there are multiple different types of tanks there are different there's like this new behemoth vehicle which we'll be talking about soon in another video tonight and uh, you know all kinds of just crazy stuff like look at some of these weapons look at the magazine on that weapon we just saw right there sticking out the side some of the magazines are side loaders some are bottom loaders some are top loaders it's just it's really really unique another big thing they've said that changed and that they've added into this game is dynamic weather so they've done dynamic weather in a really really big way when you play on a map in this game sometimes it's going to be sunny Sometimes it's going to be rainy like you guys are seeing in this gameplay right here. Sometimes it's going to be super foggy and it's never going to be predictable. Like no battle is ever going to be the same is what they said because it's just going to change on a whim. It's not like you're always going to start a map and it's going to start sunny and rainy. It's going to be unpredictable. Like sometimes it'll start rainy and stay rainy all the way through. Sometimes it'll start rainy and move to fog and move to sunny or you know whatever else. So it's going to be unpredictable. That's going to be kind of cool. Obviously that affects the gameplay in a big way. Not only in terms of looks, which you guys can see some of these weapons, they have like water droplets on them and stuff like that, which looks really, really good. But in terms of actual actual gameplay. I mean, like, you know, rain is going to reduce your visibility. It's going to add a lot of noise, so you're not going to be able to hear footsteps as well, or artillery as well, and stuff like that. So, uh, I don't know. It's like, it looks pretty cool. I'm going to bounce out and give you guys some, you know, full-on sound with this gameplay. I muted it up until this point, because the announcers were talking in the background as well. Uh, it's actually a cool little part, because they're talking about all the different types of weapons, and new equipment, and classes, and stuff like that. So, I figured you guys want to hear that, as well as you can actually hear the sounds of the game, the gunfire, the explosions, and stuff like that. So, uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed and uh, let me know what you guys think down in the comments. If you guys are excited for Battlefield 1, hit that thumbs up button and uh, look enjoy. at this player here. <laughs> Only in Battlefield. Man. And, uh, well, he was just getting... Is he, is he done? I, I, he, I think he probably it looked got... like he was getting rocked just a little oh, bit. Look, vehicle disabled. You oh, take him down. Wow. Vehicle destroyed. What a use there. That was fantastic. That was some great shots there and that was the, uh, the, the field gun. That thing is just brutal. And another gun that I actually haven't had a chance to even try out for myself, too. Be really uh, one of the LMGs. Too. Yep, this is uh, one of the LMGs. Look at that side-loading magazine there. That's uh, a little bit different. This is one of the things about weaponry back then. I mean, each army had their own way of doing things. And, you know, there wasn't one set way. So, like, you can see it in the tanks. You can see the German tank is very different to the British tank. And that's exactly the same with the weaponry. I mean, they may have thought this might be a good idea. Other other armies didn't think so. Yeah, what's really cool is that it's a balance of, you know, the, uh, the testing of, of what we saw in World War One, the weaponry yeah. that we saw being tested in that time period, as well as what was actually used, you know? Correct. So there's a lot of cool, different kind of gameplay elements there, all in the interest, most importantly, of, of fun gameplay, right? Which yeah. this game certainly is, and... Uh, look at that stare. The, the death stare, right into the He's intent on winning the team names this time. Team names, team names. Team names. <laughs> all right. Well, let's see. Hopefully they could uh, pull out the W here. Well, obviously, we've seen a lot of weapons here so far. We've seen gadgets and things, but 
maybe people don't know all the weapons that are on offer. So, first of all, you've got sem semi-automatic rifles. You've also got SMGs, LMGs, shotguns, down. sniper rifles, and you've got some pistols in there as well. So there's a, a full set of weaponry, just like you'd expect from a Battlefield game. Yeah, we were talking about it before just a little bit. Uh, you know, the gadgets, you're going to see anti-vehicle grenades for the assault, trip mines for the support, as well as ammo bags for the support. Correct. You're also going to see the medic bag and the revive syringe, which you may have caught a couple times in some of the videos for the medic position. And then you have the signal flare, which spots enemies for the sniper. That's quite, quite exciting stuff. And then the rocket gun for the assault. Now, we, we haven't we seen have rocket gun be used angle. just yet, but essentially what it is, it's, it's, a, it's exactly as it sounds. Yeah, it's a, it really is. It's <laughs> a rocket gun, but in order for you to fire it, you have to go prone. Or you can set it up behind cover, and then you can use it as a resting point, and then you fire it. Uh, it really does have some extreme power behind it as well. So if you can use it effectively, you've got the opportunity to do some serious damage. And then the last thing I want to talk about are the anti-vehicle rounds yes. from the sniper. And I actually had a chance to use these earlier when we were setting up, uh, setting up the, uh, the gameplay arena. And, um, well, you can, as it says, you can do damage to vehicles with your, uh, with your sniper rifle, but you have to sacrifice your, your weapon, really, because you change and you move from firing normal rounds into using something that is purely designed to take down vehicles. So there you guys have it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Again, let me know what you guys think down in the comments. Thumbs up if you guys liked it and are looking forward to Battlefield 1. Make sure you guys check out this video right here if you want some more gameplay of the new behemoth vehicle, the airship. This thing's a monster. I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.